赤い部分は津波が押し寄せた。So this, this red area shows where the tidal wave came, came into. They don't have a record of everybody yet, but they're, they're thinking that it's going to be about 10,000 people that will be lost here. We've made it as far as this town, Rikuzen Takada. We're on the coast of the Iwadi Prefecture, and this is the second day in a row that Operation Blessing has been able to deliver essential relief supplies to some of the hardest hit areas here in Japan. We're in an auditorium, a huge auditorium here in the town, where most of the residents have fled to. There are about a thousand people sleeping here, living here now. Their homes have been completely destroyed, and those are the homes that we're seeing obliterated, washed up, just like matchsticks and piles of debris. And Operation Blessing has bought bags and bags of rice here. We've unloaded it into the kitchen, and they're extremely happy. And they're telling us this is the first rice we've got. We've been without rice. We need it. The rice has been a huge blessing today, and we're privileged to be serving this town in its hour of greatest need. This building is one of the most shocking things I've ever seen. The water got all the way to the top. It's maybe 80 feet tall. And one of the residents told us that people were plucked from the top of that building by helicopters, rescued from there, and that they were waist deep in water on the top of the building. So you just get a sense of how high the wall of water was and how powerful, too, that it would rip right through the building. And it's gone all the way up the valley as far as you can see, pretty much in every direction, as far as you look. It's just complete and utter destruction. All of the wood is from the houses. You know, they built their houses here out of wood. To make them earthquake proof, and they all survived the earthquake but did not survive the tsunami.